Morning. How are JB, you? JB, thanks very much for having us on your farm. Not at all. Thank you. It's so lovely to meet you. You too. So, talk me through. You know, how how long have you been here? Uh, well, I've had this farm for about four years now, four and a half years, um, and I kind of made the decision to, I guess, step into farming about two years ago. So, talk me through. What animals have you got here? Well, this is Ginger, which is Ginger? my first pig, and she <laughs> sort of started off. The I whole wonder thing. how you came up with that name. <laughs> And um, Ginger's recently had, well, she's had two litters. This is her second litter. She just had five piglets. Um, and I've got two other sows, and they've had uh, litters of six and seven. Yeah. So they, the, the herd Quite is Quite a lot. Where yeah. are the other sows then? Can we go and see them? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. And how was your first experience of, say, going out to, to go and find the mate for Ginger? Was um, that new, novel? It was, it was. And I sort of dabbled with artificial insemination and, yeah. and obviously I didn't really know anybody who had Tamworth and I wanted to keep, you know, keep my herd quite clean and keep the breed the same. So yeah. I wanted to try and find a Tamworth and they're, they're a rare breed in themselves so <laughs> it was quite difficult to try and uh, uh, get a hold of a I think they want to be on camera. <laughs> I think they do. <laughs> they're being a bit noisy. Was there a particular reason why you picked the Tamworth? I didn't pick the Tamworth. I went to an RSPCA shelter right. to find a dog and I ended up coming back. Well, should I say my dad ended up coming back with a pig. Right. And I was like, as long as you look after it and make sure that you know it's fed and watered, then no problem. Um, my dad uh, sort of grown up with horses, so that's kind of where mm. I guess his, his, most of his knowledge comes from. Um, and I think it's, it's quite adaptable. I think once you have animals, um, you understand a little bit more about how they work and yes of course there are sort of like you know, small idiosyncrasies that you have to sort of get right with each each animal or each breed but you know it is reasonably um, transferable. I can see some other little piglets down yes. here. Who, who are these? The, this is, this sow is Princess. Princess. And these are the eldest of us, I'll say the, the young bunch. So they're yes. about five weeks old now, I think. But, and I sort of hate to say this, having just heard what you said, there is that aspect of farming though, isn't there, where you do have to make money, and if you are bringing on animals, the likelihood is that they do go from farm to fork. Are you mm. ta is, is that what's going to happen to your pigs? Yeah, you know, and I don't think there should be any anything to be ashamed of with that. You know, I think that is, you know, Food is provenance, obviously, and we all need to eat food. And, and for me, I'd rather know that you know my food comes from a farm such as this, where the, the pigs look great and they're eating well and they're healthy and you know they're looked after. We've got nine fallow deer. I have heard that you, know, you wanted to go into deer farming. Is this some of the inspiration behind that thought, having them here? Absolutely. Absolutely. In r really early in the morning, they usually come from here, and they'll clear this, this gate quite easily. Really? They'll jump over this gate, yeah. So they'll come in here, and they'll be right up close to the house, and you I can see them from my bedroom window. And um, when some someone, actually, a close friend of mine, um, mentioned to me that I should think about deer farming, and his family had sort of dabbled in it. I was like, well, I do have wild deer, like, in on my land. And for me, it was a great option at the time, because I was busy with uh, JLS and I could use the land but also not have to be too hands on. And as you can see, they sort of look after themselves. They're hidden right out of the way because we're yeah. here. And what kind of um, tips do you think would you give someone who wants to go into the farming and agriculture industry but perhaps doesn't have? Uh, you know, doesn't have a farm, or that you know their dad doesn't have a farm, and they don't mm. have any kind of relative who's got a farm. Well, I mean, I came into this quite organically. If you've got a passion, maybe you've got a love for animals, or you know, you, you've been to a farm and you want to try and learn more, or understand more, you can always go online. You know, there are always, um, you know, publications and magazines and uh, uh, different ways for you to find out information. I think people maybe don't understand that farming is all consuming. It's every single day for the whole year. I've got four chickens, so we can go meet those now. How do you go about? Picking the chickens. To be honest, I got them from uh, Adam Henson. Oh, so, uh, I see. Yeah, he, uh, he. All left four me. of them. Not all four. I had three of them from Adam. There are different types of chickens um, that you can get. Did you know what they were when you got them? Or? I didn't. I'm sure he's told me, and I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Adam. But, um, yeah, they give me. They give brilliant eggs. 
I must say. Great. Very, very fresh, so uh, no complaints from me. Have you yeah. ever thought about sort of getting a professional qualification? Absolutely. I think education is, is, is key in any industry, whatever it might be, mm. um, and I'd love to learn more. Um, obviously you can learn by experience and, and with farming obviously it's very tactile so you, you have to be on the ground, you have to get involved. I think things like farming are coming increasingly uh, important in our culture, you know. A lot of people don't know that much about it but food is such a big thing uh, these days and, and people do want to know where their food's coming from and they do want to eat healthier and they do want to, to have better food quality. Um, and I think there's so many different, there's a wealth of opportunities, not necessarily just in farming, but in food in general, uh, the food industry in general, you know, there's so many different things uh, that you can go into, or so many different things that you can learn that can, I suppose, transfer between all the different disciplines. Well, JB, thank you so much for showing me around. It's been a real pleasure. pleasure. I really appreciate it. Thank it's, you. It's been great. Thank you very much. Not at all.